let's talk about sobriety. Yes. One of my favorite topics. Yes. <laughs> um, so tell me about your sobriety journey and what is working for you today. Yes. So in 2020, I went to rehab for the third time. Um, I think for me, sobriety has been really hard. And the reason why I've gone so many times, too, was because um, just a lot of like childhood trauma and deaths and things that I wasn't coping with and just I was using drugs to like numb it and everything so by the third time I really really wanted something to change and I knew something had to change and thank god I did go to rehab that time because with the pandemic and like being alone and doing all the things I was doing probably wouldn't be here today (laughs) wow yeah so it was really important for me to go this last time um And I think what really helped me, like, navigate sobriety, too, was moving. And I know they say, like, you know, you can change people, places, and things, but it's really, like, you, you know. You do what they call a geographic. Yes, yeah. But I really do feel like, in some ways, it did help me because I I was forced to make new friends. Or I was just forced to sit alone, Mm -hmm. which is what I needed to do, really, was just sit alone with myself. Because I had been, like, self-medicating, and I started off drinking really young. I had alcohol poisoning at 13. I went to rehab at 15 for doing drugs, because I was, like, selling drugs in high school, and I was rolling on ecstasy every day. (laughs) Yeah, like, I was just doing crazy things super young and like my family couldn't figure out why like Mm -hmm. you know and I couldn't honestly I couldn't either until later this last time it was like because I tried to go to rehab again when I was 21 but I felt like 21 like so yeah. hard, you, you know. know? <laughs> the age you start drinking. Exactly. Yeah, I was like, stop then. I'm not done yet. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so I had to run around for three more years. And then finally I was like, okay, I think we're good. You know, yeah. I've run around for like, you know, 10 plus years doing crazy stuff. Like, yeah. I think it's time to, you know, change some things. But yeah. do you feel that it might be a challenge for you to stay sober being so young? Because getting young, I mean, you're 20. Yeah four now I'm 27 27 now yeah um that's actually funny I got sober the first time when I was 20 was I 27 I might have been 28 it was right before my 30s yeah yeah. um but yeah getting sober that young is it's hard it's hard do you feel like it might be a challenge for you yes and like even me trying to just meet people in Colorado Mm -hmm. whether it's dating or friends like it's been really hard because What's the first thing anyone says? Let's meet up for drinks. You know? (laughs) And I'm like, let me drink water, like, (laughs) while you drink. And, like, you know, try not to be tempted to, you know, drink with you. But, it's yeah, it's been been definitely hard. But what is nice is I do have a really great support system. And I have friends who – I have I've made friends who like love that I don't drink and love that I don't party, even though they do once in a while. But they're like, I love hanging out with you because I know I don't feel the pressure of doing those things, you Mm -hmm. know, because it's so normalized. Like Mm -hmm. it's so normal for people to just go drink. Yeah. Party and do whatever. Yeah. When I was dating, I remember struggling with the same thing because I was like, okay, do I tell people that I don't drink before we go out for drinks or do I just yeah. say sure and order a club soda? Yeah. And then they give you that look. Yeah. And then you have to like explain. But you also don't want to be that person who's like, oh no. Yeah, like a downer or yeah. whatever. Yeah. Like you don't want to make a big deal about it. Yes. Yeah. That was, yeah. I, I feel you on that. I would be. And I don't mind if people drink in front of right. me. I just don't want them to like pressure me to drink or like. You know, and also, I, like, I don't want to, like, babysit you, you know? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, hopefully you have, you know, your limits and stuff. And yeah. you know what that is. I don't have to deal with that. It would yeah. be nice. But, yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, definitely. That's, yeah. I struggled with a lot of that same thing. Yeah. 